Hey everyone, David Rishpan here again on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about one tune that I believe will unlock a lot of your ear training and harmonic knowledge. Let's get into it. The tune in question is Move Love by Robert Glasper and King from the album Black Radio. And it uses a device that has been vital and central to opening my harmonic language as an improviser and composer, and it is the use of common tones. So in the, we're gonna break down this chord progression and you're, and we're gonna break it down based on the common notes that are used throughout the, throughout the tune. So the chord progression goes like this. The tune goes like this. All right, let's break this down. A lot of us may be aware of what are called pedal points, which is when we move chords over a common bass note, something like... That's a pedal point in the bass. I, I hold G in the bass play all kinds of other chords over G in the bass. G stays in the bass, and I play other chords that also have G in the chord, and G always stays in the bass. What's happening in Move Love is the pedal point is actually inside the voicing, and the common tone one of the common tones is F. So what are the chords? We have B flat major seven. F is the fifth. We have G flat major seven. F is the major seventh. We have F minor seven. F is the root. E flat minor nine. F is the 9, C minor 11, F is the 11 or the 4, G minor 7, F is the minor 7th, and then A flat 13 suspended or E flat minor 9 with A flat in the bass. And if you're analyzing that chord as an A flat chord, F is the 6th or the 13th. So if I get rid of all the other notes in the chords, and we just think of the interval, so F will be the common tone on top, and I'm just changing the bass note. So we have 5th, major 7th, root or octave, 9th, 11th, minor 7th, 6th. Now 
Now, just those two notes reflect a lot of the harmony that's in Move Love. The question when the note is not a third is, is it major or minor? That's really the main note that is missing in order to communicate the rest of the information. But if I just played those two notes... If you know the tune, you can kind of infer the rest, even though I'm just playing two notes at a time. So for me, the takeaway is that when I'm thinking of a melody, whether it's in my improvisation or I'm starting to compose something, if I hear a note, if I hear the note F, I'm always hearing that note in relationship to a bass note in my inner ear because F F is never just F F is the something of something F is an interval it is a melody note over a bass note right so the characteristic that F has as the fifth of B flat is not the same as the characteristic it has as the major seventh of G flat. So if I'm singing a melody to myself or I'm singing a melody into my phone, I will generally hear it and understand that melody note in relationship to the bass note underneath it. It's, it's always characterized by the bass note, by the intervallic relationship between what I hear underneath the melody note. And Move Love is a great example of starting to hear and, and being able to practice all those different relationships. There is a second common tone throughout that progression, and that common tone is B flat. Your homework assignment is to go through and figure out and analyze what B flat is in relationship to all of those chords. In the bridge of Move Love, the chords change, the common tones change. So I hear that progression anchoring around the A flat or G sharp. And the two chords are E flat minor 11. A flat is the four minor 11. And then it goes up to F sharp minor nine. The A flat or the G sharp and harmonic spelling, it's the same pitch but different note. Anyway, that's an advanced theory concept. That note is the minor nine. You could also see the bridge as parallel minor 11th chords that go up by a minor third. I really hear the bridge anchoring around that uh, A-flat, G-sharp, whatever, especially when you listen to the vocal melody that's basically recontextualizing that note by singing a harmony underneath it.
Another tune that uses this, actually a lot of Radiohead tunes use this common tone concept. Uh, Everything in its right place is a great example of this as well. Uh, I tend to use Move Love with my students because there are so many beautiful chords that are all anchored around the common tones of F and B flat. I hope this helps you expand your harmonic palette and your harmonic knowledge and your ear training. If you enjoy the content on this channel, if you enjoy lessons like this, video lessons like this, please click like and subscribe. I know everyone asks you to do that, but it really indeed helps the channel uh, and lets me know that you appreciate content like this. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any other songs that use common tone harmony, let's have a discussion in the comments. My name is David Richpan. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.